One nice thing about iBooks is that it allows students to define words they don't know. For example, if I come back to forebodings and I click on it, because I already have it marked up, I get the note-taking options. So I'm going to click on the final caret to go back to the first set of options. Then I just click on define. Because I already have some dictionaries downloaded from iBooks, I get some definitions. You can do that through manage at the bottom. You can decide which dictionaries your students download for use in your class. In addition, you can click on search web and it'll go to Safari and Google the word for you.